Hello everyone, this is H2A Gun from Online Nights, and today I'm here with another episode of Character Case Files. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the life story of a character who is somewhat less well known than most. However, his tale is one which I feel like I simply have to tell. So let's get straight to it, and look at the story of Admiral Preston Cole. Preston Jeremiah Cole was born on the 3rd of November 2470 to Troy Henry Cole and Jennifer Francine Cole. He grew up on Earth, in a rural area in the state of Missouri, where his parents ran a small farm and was a middle child of seven, with three brothers and three sisters. Despite living in a time of economic prosperity, the Cole family struggled to make ends meet, and Preston's mother, Jennifer, had once been arrested in her youth for protesting taxes. Neither of his parents had any military background, although both of Jennifer Cole's great-grandfathers had fought in the Rainforest Wars, one of a series of interplanetary conflicts in the 22nd century. As a child, his teachers noted that he lacked imagination, and often struggled when it came to interacting with others. Since his parents refused to accept government financial aid, Preston had to carry out work on the farm to help support the family. This led to him frequently falling asleep in lessons, and at the request of his school, a social worker was sent to investigate the household to see if he was being overworked. The investigation found no evidence of any form of abuse, and the case was dropped. Despite his occasional social difficulties, Preston was immediately recognised for his academic ability. At the age of 10, he astounded his teachers by achieving a perfect score in an algebra exam, a feat which had never before been accomplished for that examination. For that reason, it was assumed that he had cheated, however when he resat another paper under strict supervision, he again produced a perfect score. Despite his extraordinary intellect, his attainment began to slip throughout his later education possibly due to the distractions of working on the farm, and he left school without the grades he had been expected to achieve. Cole's dream during his youth had been to one day go to space and settle on some faraway colony. However, due to his lack of money and connections, there was only one way off world for him. On the day of his 18th birthday, he enlisted in the Navy. Once he'd finished training, he was made a crewman and was assigned to the ship Season of Plenty, a vessel under the Colonial Military Administration. Cole's awkwardness caused him to be picked on by some of the bridge crew, However, he soon caught the eye of his superior officers when he was discovered by the ship's AI to have invented a new form of multidimensional calculus, a brand new method for carrying out calculations for use in navigation in slipspace. This, in addition to his ability and hard-working nature, earned him a place at the prestigious officer candidate school on Luna, Earth's moon, after he was personally recommended by the Season of Plenty's second-in-command, Lieutenant Commander Neville. During his third year at the OCS, in June 2492, Cole was one of six students suspected in a scandal involving the nighttime disappearances and pregnancy of Inna Volkov, the daughter of Admiral Konrad Volkov. Charged with unauthorized exit of the military base, Cole and the other five cadets were brought before a hearing, but Preston both denied the charges brought against him and refused to comment on the charges being pressed against his fellow cadets. He was threatened with five years of manual labor for obstructing a military tribunal, however he maintained his silence. Fortunately for him, these charges were dropped after two days, when the hearing proved inconclusive. Two months later, in August 2492, Cole married Inna Volkov, indicating that he had indeed been the one involved in the affair. However, when Inna's baby was born in December that year, DNA tests carried out secretly by the Admiralty showed that he was not in fact Cole's son. This means that Cole's exact reasons for marrying Volkov are unknown, however the two remained married for many years, and they later had two more sons and a daughter, all three of whom were his biological children. Cole was later assigned to the UNSC Las Vegas as navigation officer and made a second lieutenant. In 2494, he played a major role in one of the first major UNSC engagements against the emerging insurrectionist factions in the outer colonies. Earlier that year, insurgent forces had ambushed the UNSC corvette Callisto and seized control of the vessel. The Las Vegas and two other light destroyers were sent to hunt down the captured warship, however they walked right into a trap. The Callisto lured the task group into a place where a hidden nuclear device was detonated, obliterating one of the destroyers, disabling another, and leaving a heavily damaged Las Vegas alone against the Corvette. Apart from Cole and one other, the entire bridge crew had been wiped out by the blast, and the other survivor had been rendered unconscious. Cole therefore assumed command of the vessel, and signalled a surrender to the Callisto. However, when the Callisto docked with the Las Vegas to recover survivors, Cole opened fire. He'd had a missile repositioned so that it would fly directly down the docking tube into the Callisto, and the massive internal explosion destroyed the Corvette. Despite the brilliant tactical maneuver, the faking of a distress signal constituted such a significant violation of maritime protocol that Cole's superiors were tempted to have him court-martialed. Due to the success of his unorthodox strategy, however, he was spared. 
In the following five years, Cole participated in several successful engagements against the insurrectionists and was promoted to first lieutenant and then commander, all the time becoming more and more of a military hero back home. His time spent on the front, however, strained his relationship with Inna Volkov, and in 2500 she filed for divorce. Despite his attempts to reconcile, the pair split, and in the following years, Inna blocked much of the communication between him and their children. In 2501, exhausted from over half a decade of active service, Cole took some long overdue leave from the Navy, and made his temporary home on an outer colony world called Roost. The following year, he married a woman named Lyra Castilla, after a 14-month romance. The pair lived happily together on Roost, and Lyra even became pregnant, however their partnership was short-lived. In 2503, only investigations discovered that Lyra was in fact a senior member of the insurrection, a strategist who had personally fought Cole to a draw on three separate occasions. Cole himself had had no knowledge of her true identity, however he was taken into custody charged with willingly supplying the enemy with classified information. Lyra had been tipped off that her cover was blown and vanished, however a few months later the ship she captained, the Bellicose, was reportedly destroyed in combat, with Lyra and all the crew presumed dead. Eventually, the treason charges against Cole were dropped, and in fact he even received a promotion to Rear Admiral. This, however, was merely intended to act as a cover for him being sent back to Earth to work at a desk job. All of his requests to be reassigned to space were denied, and after eight months he quietly accepted an offer to retire, with an honorary promotion to Vice Admiral. In the decades that followed, humanity's favourite war hero disappeared from the public eye, with the exceptions of two highly publicised and disastrous marriages to far younger women. His health also began to fail, mostly due to his increasing alcoholism, and by 2525 he'd had multiple organ transplants. 2525, however, was the year when humanity made first contact with the Covenant Empire, and following the horrifically one-sided early engagements against the aliens, the UNSE decided to bring back one of its old heroes. Cole accepted command of a UNSE fleet assigned to retake the colony world Harvest, which he did, though at the cost of 13 of his 40 ships. Cole was given operational command of all UNSC vessels in the outer colonies, and over the course of the next few decades, he continued to successfully hold the line against the Covenant, winning every major engagement he committed his forces to. Cole also masterminded a new UNSC safety protocol, which was then named after him. The Cole Protocol was a set of regulations mostly regarding slipspace travel, aimed to prevent human navigation data and the coordinates for major human population centres from falling into Covenant hands. These same regulations also proved useful in suppressing insurrectionist activities while the UNSC was busy fighting elsewhere. But for all its strategic brilliance, the superior technology and sheer firepower of the Covenant meant that the cost of every UNSC victory was astronomical. More than 24 of Cole's naval engagements each saw at least three UNSC warships destroyed for every one Covenant vessel. However, the UNSC had no alternative but to keep reinforcing Cole's fleet and hope that he can continue to win these impossible battles. The Battle of Sai Serpentis in 2543 was Cole's last. He led a fleet of 162 ships into battle against a force of over 100 Covenant vessels. However, despite destroying more Covenant ships than was statistically likely in the opening moments of the battle, the Covenant soon began to gain the upper hand. Cole maneuvered the fleet around a nearby gas giant, and when the Covenant followed, they fell under attack from a second group of human vessels, a collection of 50 insurrectionist warships led by the Bellicose. For a brief moment, the tide turned in humanity's favour, However, the sudden arrival of 200 more Covenant ships in system forced the UNSC vessels to beat a retreat. To cover their escape, Cole steered his flagship away from the others and broadcast a message to the Covenant, daring them to try and kill him once and for all. The ploy worked, and every surviving Covenant ship accelerated towards him and towards their doom. For at that moment, Cole launched 100 nuclear missiles into the heart of the gas giant, the explosions creating a chain of nuclear fission leading to a total supernova the spread of which vaporised every one of the Covenant vessels, but also Cole's flagship. The victory at Sai Serpentis was the single greatest naval victory the UNSC had ever won, and it went unsurpassed until the raid on the unyielding Hierophant by John 117 and Blue Team in 2552. However, this great triumph came at the cost of the UNSC's greatest tactician, and with Cole gone, the Covenant soon began to rapidly gain ground. But despite being listed as killed in action, Evidence later came to light that Cole may have actually survived the battle, having initiated a jump into slipspace moments before the supernova. This possibility is made even more likely given the reappearance of the Bellicose, suggesting that his former lover Lyra Castilla was still alive and had faked her death all those years ago after being uncovered. Where Cole is post-war, if he did indeed survive, is unknown, however we can assume that if so, he and Lyra have made their home together somewhere far from Earth, 
fulfilling Cole's childhood dream of having a farm of his own somewhere up amongst the stars. Due to extensive time spent in cryogenic suspension over the course of his life, his biological age would be somewhere in the region of 60, meaning that he would quite likely still be alive and well. Regardless of his current situation, alive or dead, Admiral Preston Cole was one of the single greatest and most successful heroes of the Human Covenant War, and for that reason alone, he's worthy of remembrance. Well, once again, we've reached the end of an episode. Please like the video if you've enjoyed, and subscribe to see more if you haven't already. If there are any other characters you'd like me to cover, then go ahead and suggest them in a comment down below. I've been H2Acon from Online Nights, and I'll see you next time on Character Case Files.